Welcome to our chilly hovers. I'm Economicon, and today I can play with the game Cold Front, where my childhood friend is moving away, and on one last drive together, we found ourselves trapped in a suspicious blizzard. Oh, and I do believe we are being hunted. On a cold winter evening, a new family moved into the house next door. Then, a few days later, a bright doorbell echoed throughout the house. I quickly followed behind my mother, walking to answer the door to peek at who'd been standing outside. It was the lady next door who had just moved in. The lady and my mother started talking until she finally saw me hiding behind my mother's back. She then said this, I have a son your age, but he hasn't come out of his room ever since we moved in. Could you go in there and be his friend? Whoa, this house is much bigger than I thought. The stairs coming up here are a bit too high though. It'd be bad if anyone fell. So, that kid's in his room up there, huh? Bored of that lady to start bossing me around as soon as she saw me. I'm the one who's going to decide if I want to be his friend or not. What kind of kid is he anyway? Is he some kind of a fairy tale princess or something? Why would you assume he's a princess? Can I snoop? Ugh, look at all these boxes. Guess they didn't finish unpacking their stuff. Hey, a stuffed elk doll. I have a stuffed bear back in my place. I know most people think the horns on elks are cooler. But I like bears better. Okay, no problem. I can snoop some more. There's a box here. Another box over there. I just oh, there we go. Very close up there. There's a box here and another box over there. That's apparently all we got left to say of these boxes. Can I snoop around the rooms as well? What? Huh? It's locked. H who's there? I don't know that voice. Uh, are you the kid that's stuck in the room all day? Open the door first and I'll tell ya. No, thank you. Please just leave. Eh? Why not? Just open it, will ya? Okay, open sesame always works, right? I can't possibly think why it wouldn't. You leave me no choice. Ah, uh, open sesame! Maybe not such a good choice after all. Actually, I take it back. That worked flawlessly. The door opened with a click. Seems like he felt embarrassed for you. Oh, hey, it worked! W w wait, are you crying? Are you crying because I came in here? But I just got here. Do you like being alone that much? Ah, oh, come on, kid. I hate to say it, but not everything's about us. I was already crying, and that isn't the reason why. What? Huh? Then why are you crying? Because I'm lonely. All my friends are back at where I used to live. Now I have no one. No matter how hard I try, all the kids here already know each other. It's going to be hard for me to fit in. Even if they do hang out with me, it's out of pity or adults telling them to because I'm new. I don't want that. You're the same, right? You only came here because my mom told you to, right? Well, yeah. I knew it. You also feel sorry for me. But I didn't come here to try and be your friend. What? Then why? I was curious about what kind of a kid you were. And from what I've seen so far, I think you're pretty lame and whiny and a bit of a scaredy crybaby. <laughs> what? You're so mean. But hey. I didn't say I felt sorry for you, did I? You just assume everyone feels the way you think they'd feel. 
I talked to you once and you're already accusing me of something I never even thought of. I think the real reason why you won't get any fans is the way you're thinking right now. Deciding what'll happen in the future in your head and never actually trying anything in the present to fix it. If you're worried about people being insincere when they approach you, why don't you make them sincere then? I don't do fans because someone told me to. So you try and make me want to be your friend first. Don't push people away from the start and keep working hard and people that will care about you will always stay by your side. That's what I was taught anyway. Okay. Aww. Actually adorable. After our rather noisy first introduction, Winnie and I soon became inseparable. Since elementary school, and even now when we graduated high school, everyone in town knew us two were close. We went and did everything together. Same street, same school, same class, same lecture, same club, same interests, same hobbies. We were always together no matter what, to the point that sometimes it even felt a little eerie. But Winnie suddenly stopped talking to me since last winter. We haven't talked since. I don't know what he is thinking. It's the end of July. Winnie's family is moving far away tomorrow. My parents don't know. We haven't spoke in months. So... They told me to go out on a short drive with him, since today was the last day Winnie and I can properly spend our time together. You'd think you'd be in the middle of a meaningful and reminiscent conversation with your friend by now. If it was the day before you're letting someone you've known for almost your whole life leave. But the car is silent. Oh, okay, what memory do you want to remember? Start from the first. Click the elk symbol with your mouse to investigate. Okay. Wouldn't it be too weird to start rummaging through someone's stuff without their permission? Especially if you haven't talked to that someone in almost half a year. It'd be too awkward. I'll take a peek later or something when he's not here. Okay, so what else can we explore? I think it's just that and Winnie, right? Oh, I can't just sit here in silence forever. Fine, should I say something? Hmm, I'm ready. So... Uh, wh what's with that look? Hmm, it's nothing. It's just been so long. I'm surprised you talked to me first. <laughs> Go on. Okay, where are you moving again? Don't you remember? I got accepted into the uni we wanted to go. The transportation costs are high, and my parents are moving their workplace near there anyway. So we just decided to move somewhere close to where the school is. University, huh? Isn't that nice? Hmm? Ah, that does make me wonder. Hey, didn't we apply to the same school together? Ah, was I the only one that got accepted while well, you got turned out? Ah, don't feel bad, Augie. I'll study hard for you on your behalf. Don't call me Augie. Uh, is he actually trying to encourage me? It just sounds like he's passive-aggressively showing off. Who were the people crying outside your house? Ah, uh, those were my other friends. They all came by to say goodbye. So many people were crying. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I saw you get a bunch of bouquets and letters. And, uh, last minute confessions? Just when did you get this popular? You sure you want to spend your last day with me instead of your countless fans? 
Why do you not want to? Is your leg all healed? Ah, T. It took you long enough to ask. <laughs> of course, I broke it last winter, right? It's been months since. Sometimes I lose strength in them, but other than that, it's more fully healed. Everything's back to normal. I never knew I'd suddenly trip down the stairs like that. And on the day of the finals, too. Lay later heard that you played my position in the game on my behalf that night. Yeah, and I didn't win. You were always better at hockey than me. The audience loves you more anyway, so... So, when are you going to ask? Ask what? Wasn't all this you warming up to the conversation? So you can ask about that? The reason why I suddenly stopped talking to you. You know why. Because you're an embarrassment to be around. Just by looking at the short conversation we had a moment ago. It's obvious that the difference between the two of us is incomparable. I got into the school you wanted to go to. I have a bucket full of other friends that adore me. I've been praised and recognized by the public. Then, there's you. What are you? What do you have? No brains, no social life, no skills. What does that make you? Trash. Trash is what you are. I pity you. You. What did you just say? Hmm? What's with that look? Say it. Say what you just said again. Ah, uh, okay. What's with that? Look! What's wrong? You're so cold all of a sudden. Did I say something wrong? Let's just calm down and... How can I calm down when you're sitting there treating me like walking trash? Why are you yelling all of a sudden? Who do you think you are? Why do you always... Wait... Is it... Snowing? Yeah. J just to be clear, it's currently July, right? Yeah. What's going on? I don't know. I was too focused on talking with you. It was just like that when I looked back at the window. Uh, outside. Let's just go outside first. And the door's frozen? Oh, that can't be good. Ah, no matter how hard I pull, it just won't budge. Okay, what about... No, wait, don't... <laughs> we can open sesame again. Wait, cancel for a second. Use the window. It's totally jammed. Okay. We've got to. Open sesame. Ah! Open sesame! I think the car just got colder than before, Augustine. It was worth it. It amused me. Okay, keep the door open. This leaves me no choice. But wait, don't tell me you're about to start kicking my... Okay, kick. Come on, kick harder. The door swung open. We're out! Ah! Uh, huh? We really are out. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry. Should have dodged faster. <laughs> uh, Augustine? Your outfit. Okay, so I don't remember wearing this outfit a minute ago. What the hell's going on? Why am I suddenly standing in the middle of a snowstorm in July? Snow in July? This really is serious. I didn't know climate change would come to be this extreme. Everyone, let's take better care of the Earth. 
That's not important right now. I mean, it is important, but... I guess even climate change can't just change outfits out of the blue. Look, look at clothes. Is the outfit we wore last winter? This is awfully convenient. At least it keeps me warm. But if it was changed for our convenience's sake, something doesn't match up. Our clothes suddenly swapping already doesn't match up. Okay, Winnie's outfit. Now that I think about it, your clothes. Aren't those for indoors? Yeah, well I did wear this during the winter. It was only when I was inside a building. Usually at school. Compared to you who's got a cozy hat with those ear thingies, a coat, even those cute little boots. Perfect for outdoors. Aren't you cold? Yeah, no, I'm freezing. You moron, get back in the car right now. But, but the door won't even close now after all that kicking you did. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Ah, oh, this is so frustrating. Why is our outfit different? What even is this blizzard? What does all of this mean? D don't panic. We gotta preserve our energy. <laughs> hey, are you okay? You've been shivering this whole time. Yeah, it's just so cold. Let me... S sit down and warm my hands a bit. Could you please ch check the car while I do that? Check for something that might be of use or, or any anything's wrong with it? How could I say no if you're asking me like that? I'll be quick. Don't close your eyes. If you do, you won't be waking up. <laughs> okay, so is there anything in the car we can use? Oh, everything's frozen on the inside already, huh? Need something to mount it. Something with heat. Will I be able to find it? Okay. So now can we explore this? Uh, what was that just now? I swear I just saw something. Am I seeing things? Did the cold get to me? Ah, uh, get a grip on yourself, Augustine. Wait, this is... I don't remember him smoking. Oh yeah. He pretended so he'd look cool in front of the cool kids. When I warned him, all of them just called me a loser. The fact that he kept this means... Is he still hanging out with them? Just ignoring my worries for him, huh? What am I not cool enough for him? Am I really an embarrassment? Anyways, the one thing that I actually needed... The lighter. Is not here. Where the hell did he put it? Okay. Uh, ah, you're out of fuel as well. That's a bit of an issue. Wait. Why does it say we're all out of fuel? I swear it was almost full when I checked it before. And the situation's more serious than I thought. Am I really going to freeze to death out here? Think that's everything. I needed to check for now. Why is all of this suddenly happening to me? It's enough torture as it is having to spend time with... Ah! W Winnie? Really? You just spent your time building a snowman? Oh, you fool of a kid. What's going on? What happened? My hands... Amazing! Then why were you building a snowman with your bare hands? No, no, that's not all there is to why I screamed. Though it is a teensy part of it. 
When you were still investigating the car, I... I saw an ominous shadow moving in the distance with the storm. An ominous shadow? Yeah, yeah. It really scared me. So I made this little snow friend to calm my mind. Cute, right? Say hi to him. I really want to ruin the snowman. I really do. The temptation is too strong. Ruin it! Ah! The snowman was crushed under your boot. It fell lifelessly to the ground. I'm unimpressed with you, Winnie. You know, this isn't the time to be messing around. How can you act so childish? Read the damn room. Sorry. Anyways, I don't think we should stay here much longer. I have a bad feeling. Did you find anything? It says the fuel is all out, so the car probably won't move. And we'll need a heat source for the frozen parts inside. Couldn't find the lighter. Ah, that! I left it in my room somewhere. Let's look for something else. Oh, then that means nothing will change even if we stay by the car. So, we have no choice but to walk forward. Find shelter, heat and fuel. Tell me when you're ready. Come on then. We're... Okay, safe? Why not? Now we're ready. Alright, let's go. I know I scolded him just now. But I didn't expect for him to tone down this much. Did I go too far? Uh, oh. Are you just, are you just gonna walk there? Oh. His walk is slow. He seems to be very cold. Oh, why did I give him my hat or something? I mean, I'm clearly better dressed for this. Ah. He's too slow. This leaves me no choice. I'll go talk to him and do that. Alright, get on my back. Ah? Uh? You obviously can't walk because of the cold. I'll carry you. Y you sure? You don't have to overdo it. Since when did you care about that? I said it's fine, just stop wasting any more time and... But if it trouble you, you'll... I got this. I can lift you up easy and... I said I don't need it. What? Don't want a trash like me carry you around? Would that be too embarrassing for you? It's not like that. Why do you keep talking that way? Why do you keep talking like... <sighs> Fine. Whatever. It's my fault for asking. Oh, at least he's keeping up with us now. Interesting. Um, we seem to have found the blood. Clearly we're going the correct direction. Th that can't be... Is... is that... blood? Why does it look like it's being dragged on the floor? Well, we must follow it. Ah, well there's the source. That's... Wait... That's us? Us? Wait... Have we been dead this entire time? A dead body that looks like a younger version of me. Frozen to death, covered in snow and blood. There's a deep scratch wound across its chest, as if it was attacked by something sharp. It's holding hands with a body that looks like a younger version of Winnie. Ugh. A dead body that looks like a younger version of Winnie. Frozen to death and covered in snow and blood. There's multiple stab wounds on his stomach, as if it was pierced with something sharp. It's holding hands with a body that looks a lot like a younger version of me. <laughs> what the hell is going on? The sudden snowstorm, almost freezing to death. 
And now I have to look at my own dead body? This... This is all just a prank you set up, right? Tell me this is just a sick prank to mess with me. Because... There's just no way all of this is real. I... I can't believe it. You're really telling me... There's... Something here with us... That can cause these terrible wounds? No, let's... Let's be positive. The bodies look like us is totally freaking me out, but seeing how is right on the middle of our path, maybe it's a sign. A very personalized and terrifying don't go this way sign. There still must be time for us to turn back. It's not like whatever attacked them is standing right behind us. You just had to say it. Ah! Oh, did I die? I think I died. Okay, so we're back. And now we need to be ready. Dodge! Back! Off! You were able to buy time by shoving the creature back with your bag. You just had to jinx it! What are you standing about for? Run! Yeah, um, we should run faster. Oh, oh, okay. I see how it is. Oh, uh, it's fine, it's fine. Straight line, straight line's a bad idea. Ah! Winning! Uh, ow! Ow! Sorry, I tripped a little. Uh, I'll be fine. You should. Don't pull that sacrifice card. Just get up already. Come on. You pulled Winnie up. Ah, thank you. You saved me. Shut up. We're not out of this yet. There's nowhere to hide with how flat and wide this field is. It's impossible to drive it away. And we're going to be out of breath any second now because of this goddamn snowstorm. What the hell do we do? Wait, wait, Augie. I've got a plan. Hear me out. The floor we're standing on right now, I think it's ice. If we slam our foot down hard enough, we can make it crack. We can guide the monster to come towards our direction, and on its way to us, it'll step on the crack. And with the ice not being able to handle its weight, the monster will fall right in under the water. Are you insane? What if we fall in too? Do you have a better idea? Uh, no! Exactly! We'll get caught if we waste any more time! Come on! I got it! Don't tell me what to do! Let's stomp on it at the same time! Ready? One... Two... There we go! The ice cracked! We did it! Yes, come on, you fool. Bow straight towards me. Yes, it's working. It's going down. Wait, the crack's spreading wider than I thought. What? Ah! Augustine! Oh, yeah, Winnie. This is not working out how we planned it. G gotcha! I knew it. I knew we'd get messed up in this somehow. What did I tell you? Uh, how deep is this hole? It's basically a cliff. What the hell is going on with this place? It just doesn't make sense. All right, pull me up. Pull me. Augustine. Winnie? What should I... What should I do? I, I can't... Feel my hands. I can't put any strength in them. It's all frozen. I feel like my fingers are going to fall off at any second. I, I can't. I can't pull you up. I'm trying, but it just won't let me. What do I do? What do we do? Don't. Don't do that. Don't you do that to me. You think this is funny? It's not! 
I'm being serious. Stop joking around and pull me up. I'm not. It's not a joke. I wish it was, but it's not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying. But no matter what, how hard I try to hold on, I just can't. Don't let go. Please, don't let go. I'm your friend. We're friends. We are friends, right? This little nightmare's too all over again. Ah. Oh, did I hit? Oh, no, they're, they're my hands. Never mind. I thought they were stones then. I was getting concerned I'd hit my head. Huh? Uh, you, uh, how am I still? Oh, my, my leg. It hurts. I can't get up. I can't freeze to death here. I, I can't. I can't go out like this. Not because of him. Get up. Get up. Move. 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 Move already. Man, we can do this. You got up. Gold. Gold, 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 gold. Gold, it's too cold. I never knew a person could ever feel this cold. Everything hurts, like I'm being stabbed. The cold, it's piercing me. Oh, I probably w won't be able to g get up the next time I fall. Of course, everything is here, it's frozen too. How's the snow when it's indoors? Wait, this is the hallway of his house. Why here? Is, is he somehow connected to why all of this is happening? Just thinking about him makes my head hurt. For now, I need heat, heat, heat. Anything warm, hot, literally anything. Th that's right, the lighter. He said it's somewhere in his room. Okay, I wonder if there's gonna be like a massive plot twist to this. And it's gonna be that, because remember we said that um, it's locked. Our friend had an injured leg, right, last winter. What was if it wasn't just an injured leg? What if he actually died last winter? And we're essentially having in like a mental breakdown because we can't handle our best friend's death. Huh? N no. No, why? Why is it? Why is it locked? No, 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 please. Why? Why? Why, 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 why now? It would kick it open, but I don't have the strength this time. The key. I need to find the key. I'm losing my senses. I need to find it. Quick. Okay, where do we think it was going to be? Uh, empty. Not half at all. Okay. I don't see any light in here. No light in here either. Okay, it's nowhere in here. That's unfortunate. Wait. Wait, question. What is going on with this washing machine? That's intense bits of wiring. Or pipe work. Okay. Empty. Come on. I need the key. Oh, pretty. Right, can I look at this? Why are there lights coming from under the water? Is that an ambulance, Simon? See? Everything seems to be adding up to our friend. I, I, I'm adamant, okay? Our friend died. We can't handle it. So we've created a story in our head where our friend just suddenly stopped talking to us. Why is it so distant? I don't get it. Okay, what about here? 
Oh, remember to smile and work hard. Reminder, take stuff out of your pocket before putting them in the washer. I keep forgetting. Two, do take the keys, return books, ask Augustine about the stairs. We're friends, right? Will looking at these pathetic pieces of paper be helpful? What the hell am I supposed to do now? Ah, interesting. Okay. Still not managed to find this. Okay, can I go any further? I don't think I can. No, nope. okay, that's as much as we can go. I'm curious about why there was that... Can I not go back down here? Oh, I can, there it is. Why that one piece of paper asked if we were friends. Okay, that's empty as well. Oh, this was where the key... The stuffed elk is gone. Huh. Where's the key, then? Have I not checked everywhere? Okay. I have clearly missed something somewhere. Uh, da -da -da -da. I don't know why you're looking for the lighter. Thinking back to that note on the mirror. M maybe he left the keys in one of his clothes when putting them in the washer again. Ah, that makes sense. Wouldn't hurt to check. I know it. There's definitely something in. Um, what the hell is this? That is a very good question. Is is that supposed to be me? Is someone we is someone wearing me as a suit? Ah, the, the zipper on its back. Is this a fake bodysuit that looks like me? Ah, oh, I know it's a hallucination, but why? Why me? Why me in here? In his house. For now, keys. I need to focus on the keys. Okay, what was if I'm half correct about my theory? And what was it's us that died that night instead of our friend? Which again would also explain why our friend doesn't talk to us anymore. Because we're dead and we're just a spectral form following him around. I saw those eyes. Listen, someone's dead and I know it. The door opened with a click. Y yes, this is it. Oh, why is it so dark? I can't see anything. The lighter, where's the lighter? You desperately moved around the room with your arms reached out. And soon, you suddenly feel something in your grasp. I did it, I found it. I need to light up the room. We're gonna regret this. Oh! Oh, there's many of us. B what is all this? The, those are all. But this, this is his room. Why, why am I in his? Even the furniture's look like me. Huh? I get it now. I knew it was suspicious how we were always stuck together. The monster used me like I was his own for his own advantage. Like I'm an object he'd put in his room. Like I'm his clothes he can wear whenever he liked. To act like me, to copy me. He applied to the same university as soon as he learned the school I wanted to go to. He started acting nice and got confession out of someone who I already liked before. He suddenly got interested in an award I was already working to get and he was recognized for it. He even got into the hockey team I was a part of since I was young and stole my position and played a game I was supposed to and won. Stealing all of the attention from everyone, even from my close friends who I knew before he came along. Everywhere I go, everything I do, 
Everyone that I meet, every time I wanted something, he always shows up and steals, replaces, ruins everything for my life. And leaves me with nothing. Now that I truly have nothing left, now that he has already stolen everything from me, he starts ignoring me, talking down on me, pities me. And now, he must be trying to get rid of me for good, to throw me away like a piece of useless trash, to get rid of any evidence of how he used me. That's right. I was always suspicious of him. I always hated him. I don't know how he did it, but... Everything that's happened from the moment I get out of the car is probably his fault too. Yeah, all of this must be his fault. He's trying to hunt me down. Augustine? Augustine? Is that you? It really is you. So you were here. I was so worried. I'm glad you're safe. Y you How did you? Well, this place hasn't been really realistic so far. I couldn't hear anything after you fell down that hole. So I knew something else must have happened to you. Instead of... So, I followed you in. I fell, and now I'm here. I don't know why this place looks like my house, though. Oh, and while I was going around looking for you, Winnie held up a gas tank. I found some fuel. Anyways, are you okay? Are you hurt? Found the lighter. Lighter? That's great! Now that we're both safe again, since we both looked around this floor, we should go downstairs. I'll wait for you outside. Okay, is there anything else in here we can take? I don't think there is. I don't think I can snoop either. Well, about this one is open. Nope. Okay, I guess we just gotta leave them. Okay, he's gonna be downstairs, right? There it is. Wait, Winnie, there you are. If he was able to come down here, and seeing how I survived after falling down, there's a chance that monster is also still around. Down here's the stairs to the first floor. This monster, he's, he's probably planning something to get rid of me again. Yeah, just like how he tried to with that hole earlier. I need to, I need to strike him first. Oh boy. Push Winnie down. You know what? We're going to. I want to see what happens. Push him. Oh, the betrayal. Thinking back to that day when I saw him fall down for the first time. I might have wished for him to just die right then and there. upside down. This is the car? Is that siren an ambulance? Huh? H him? What about him? He isn't breathing.
I had lost consciousness after the sudden crash and found myself waking up in the overthrown car. I was transferred to the hospital as soon as I was found. Apparently, he died instantly, on the spot when the accident occurred. It was an instant death. I couldn't have done anything. It wasn't me who caused the accident anyway, and I was passed out when he died. How could I have ever changed this outcome? His death has nothing to do with me. Compared to him, I... I was able to get off with only a few minor wounds and bruises. I was in the center of everyone's attention ever since the accident. Are you all right? It must have been scary. I'm so glad you weren't hurt that badly. Thank God you survived. You're so strong for keeping yourself together like this even though you had just lost your friend. It's lonely, right? You're sad, right? Tell us any time if you need anything. We'll be here for you. No one is looking for him anymore. They only care about me. They only compliment me. They only worry about me. They only recognize me. Just me. Just me. Just me. Finally, now that he is gone. I'm not alone. Okay, so I was a little bit wrong with my prediction. I mean, one of them is certainly dead now. So I'm getting better then if we don't shove him down the stairs in the whole dream state. He'll live, right? Potentially. Let's go find out. Okay, so don't push him. Snap out of it, Augustine. Are you okay? You're sweating bullets. And what's with that scary expression on your face? You keep talking to yourself and accusing me of something I never said. I called your name multiple times just now, and you didn't even answer. We can't go on like this. Augustine, I, I have something to ask you. When I fell down from the stairs last winter, I saw you. I know you didn't push me. I know I fell because I accidentally tripped myself. I know that. But I knew you were at a distance, but if you wanted, you could have easily reached out and stopped me from falling. When I was lying on the floor, about to pass out, I also heard footsteps of someone leaving the area. And I heard that someone else called the ambulance, other than you. I... that's... But despite it all, I didn't feel resentful or enraged. I just felt confused. I think that was the first time I started seriously reflecting on our friendship. All along, I thought we were best friends. But since then, I realized you might have thought of us differently. It felt like a wake-up call. Ever since then, I was paranoid about how you'd feel about me. I thought you hated me. I thought you didn't want to see me ever again. I was scared. I didn't know what to do or what to say, so I started distancing myself from you. But that didn't solve anything. It just made our relationship worse. What we need is... A conversation. An honest conversation. Nothing will change if we just shut ourselves from one another. I'm not mad. I'm not disappointed. I'm not going to blame you for anything that's happened. So just talk to me. Tell me everything. If you don't, I'll never know the day I die. Augustine, tell me how you feel. The moment I heard the words, tell me how you feel, I had forgotten all of my suspicion, my hatred, 
my fear of winning. And nothing but all the feelings I have been bottling up for all these years were left in me, which started to helplessly flood out in the most unsightly way possible. I, I, I envy you for succeeding, and I'm scared of what will happen to me in the future because of it. I know I'm supposed to feel happy for you. I'm, I know I'm supposed to celebrate your success by your side. I know I'm being selfish. I know I'm being overly emotional. I know that more than anyone. I know I'm being pathetic. I know that. I know that. But I just can't help it. Whenever I see you, I can't help but think you stole everything from me. Whenever I start something, you suddenly start copying me and then take it away from me. It wasn't just once or twice, but every single thing. Then you soon master at what I wanted to do, making you loved and recognized, covering me behind your massive shadow, burying everything I've done so far in the ground, taking away everyone that I wanted to impress, having everyone's attention and fortune heading towards you. And now that you're adored by everyone, you must have felt embarrassed for having to call a nobody like me your friend. No talent, no social life, no skills. No, all I have left is the fact that I'm your friend. But you have so much more in life than me. You won't need any more. So I thought you were getting rid of me. I was terrified. I was terrified of you. Is that really how you felt all this time? Augustine, I'll never leave you. There's nothing in this world that can replace you. You were my hero. I looked up to you ever since we first met. I was able to be the way I am now because you inspired me with how bright and friendly you were. I was able to feel at ease no matter where I went or what I did because I had a friend like you with me. I think that's why I kept following you around because I didn't want to leave your side. But now I realized there are still things not even a friend should do. That there's a line that not even a friend should cross. I crossed that line way too many times up until now, huh? I'm sorry, I really am. I should have respected your line. I should have thought about how you'd feel. I should have put myself in your shoes. But I was too blind at my admiration back then that... I couldn't see that you were my one and only friend before my hero. It must have been so frustrating. It must have been so upsetting. You don't have to forgive me. I know apologizing now won't change the past. But I just want you to know this. are the coolest and brightest person I have ever met in my whole life, Augustine. I was only able to do all the things I've accomplished so far because you encouraged me back then. Because you gave me hope. You work hundreds, thousands, million times harder than me. And I remind myself every day how lucky I am to have ever met a friend like you. What do you mean you have nothing? You're someone who can take over the entire world if you wanted to. You're amazing like that. Thank you for trusting me and telling me the truth. Ah, uh, now I get it. It wasn't Winnie that was hunting me. The real hunter was... myself. Already deciding what's going to happen in the future, what other people will think of me in my head. Blaming others for all the misfortunes in my life. Not trying hard enough in the first place and justifying that by saying someone who's skilled than more than me or popular than me will come along and take all the glory away. It was all me. Even though Winnie stayed the same, I was too blinded by my own jealousy and insecurity. 
that no matter what he said or did, I distorted the truth, didn't even try to talk to him properly, and decided he was the only out to ignore me, out to hurt me, interpreting him the way I feared and believed in the lies I told myself to justify hating him. I was at fault all along. Hmm. Uh, that is not true. I'm not as great as you think I am. You've always been a good friend. You always were. I was a fool to have ever taken it the wrong way. I'm sorry. I never should have let you get hurt. You're way more important than my pride. What was I even thinking? How could I have been so childish? I was stupid. I'm ashamed. Hey, we can call it even now since I did let you fall into that giant hole earlier. Is it really okay to brush this off that simply? Heh. <laughs> Augustine. We're friends, right? I don't think I deserve you. If you're okay with it, I'd love for you to be my friend. Then... Yeah, we are. Just imagine if they do like a massive gut punch and like you've got this whole reconciliation and then he wakes up and um, he's still dead. Just put it out there. Ah, I, are you okay? Breathe, Augie, breathe. It's been so long since I cried like this. Much. Uh, uh, it's okay. Don't cry. Smile. Shh. All calm down now? Uh, yeah, thanks. Glad to hear it. So, Augie. Remember the we're already dead theory I told you? I've been doing some more thinking on that and... You know how people say? A person sees their life flash before their eyes. When they're about to die or they're seriously injured. What if this is that? The situation we're in now is the flashback. Well, for us, it isn't us just watching the flash like a movie. We're actually experiencing it, reliving it even. Th that means we're about to die in real life. I did hear an ambulance sirens go off a few minutes ago, but... Wait, then where are we now? Probably an important memory that we constantly look back to. A memory that impacted our lives the most. Oh, and another thing. Don't people usually see these flashbacks on their own? But look at us, we're sharing it. I think this is because the memories we're thinking of are the exact same. What were some memories you think that impacted you deeply in life? Meeting you and seeing you fall last winter. Mine too. Our first introduction and the first time the crack in our relationship was visibly shown. So, the reason why it's suddenly winter now. Why our clothes are suddenly changed. And why this place looks like your house. Is because we're in a mixed memory of the winter when we first met. And the winter when I fell. The house is left the same way when my family first moved in. And our clothes are what we were wearing on the day I fell. You're in indoor wear since you were inside the school. You're in outdoor wear since you were leaving the building. Ah, this is hurting my head. So, what you're saying is, we're currently in a coma and are in critical condition. Probably because of a car accident or something. And our consciousness are trapped in a mixed memory of the winter when we met and when you fell down the stairs. Wow, you summarized that perfectly. Who cares about that? How do we get out of here alive? Hmm. Ah, I got it. This is a flashback of a most important memory that we look back on often, right? Because of regret, because it deeply impacted our lives. 
if that's why we're having this flashback, if we get rid of our regrets, get rid of the thing that's mentally hurting us, the thing that keeps making us look back at this memory, maybe we'll snap out in the present instead of the past, back to reality, since no regret means no looking back. By the thing that's hurting us, you mean? Yeah, I think that monster represents our unhealthy relationship the past few years. It looks like two different animals were forcibly mixed together. It felt like it was in tremendous pain. It's suffering. If we defeat that creature, I'm sure it'd mean that our relationship is restored. Our regrets will be gone. Because we got rid of what was making us suffer. We solved it. We can escape the flashback. All right, let's do it then. I trust you. Okay. N no need to get that cheerful over it. So, how do we defeat it? All we have on us are... Fuel. And... The lighter. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Wait, are we gonna burn the house down with the monster inside? Ah! Speak of the devil! Well, I really hope it isn't the devil. Yippee! How convenient for us! Alright, tell me when you're ready. Oh god, I, I think I'm pretty good to go. Let's go. Uh, we'll save. Alrighty, I'll splash the guy with the fuel as soon as I see him. Then I turn on the lighter and chuck it, yeah? Yeah, I love when we finish each other's sentences. Let's go then, to the first floor. We got this. We got this. Ah, th there it is. Where? Right there, there. I don't see it. Ah, what? It's looking right at us. Get the fuel, do it. Wait, it looks kind of cute when you get used to it. Stop messing around and pour the damn fuel, now. Okay, the fuel has been splashed. Now, Augie! I... Got it! We did it! We did it! We really did it! Oh, that was so cool just now, Augie. I mean... You guys realize you should probably leave before you also get burnt, right? Nah, the way you threw that tank was way more cooler. Then we were both cool, huh? <laughs> now that we got rid of the monster, what's our next move? Oh, yeah, yeah, our next move. About that. I didn't think that far ahead, actually. <laughs> you what? Maybe if we let ourselves burn here too, we'll somehow wake up back in the real world. That doesn't sound very comforting. If I die, I'm going to kill you. Huh. <sighs> what? Why is everything upside down? This is the car. Is that siren an ambulance? Huh? W Winnie! Where's Winnie? Winnie! Ah, uh, so my theory was right. The car crash coma trope. Isn't it this cliche? <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't the version where we were already dead. Now that would have been troubling. How can you smile at a time like this? But you're smiling too. We had lost consciousness after the sudden crash and found ourselves waking up in the overthrown car. We were transferred to the hospital as soon as we were found. After our checkup, 
The results show that despite the severity of the accident, Winnie only suffered minor injuries like small bruises. Never fails to surprise me, that guy. Compared to him, I... Fractured my left leg. I didn't feel upset, though. It was only fair. This made us even. Winnie's move was pushed back after the accident. For almost the whole summer, he stayed by my side so that I could recover faster. The sudden blizzard, the icy field, the monster we faced. We're still not sure if what we experienced was a dream, a hallucination, or indeed a flashback that Winnie talked about. But one thing's for sure. Because of what we went through, Winnie and I were finally able to have an honest conversation. For the first time ever since we met, we became best friends. Eventually, Winnie left. Though Winnie isn't by my side anymore. That doesn't mean I'll be alone. Well, that ending was a lot more wholesome. Clearly the devs aren't as mean as I would be. Well, I hope you enjoyed that playthrough of Cold Front. Why, you know what? I was thinking that the fire was going to kill us in the end there. It ended up being a lot more wholesome than I was expecting. If you're looking for something else to watch and you want to keep that chilly atmosphere, then I highly recommend you check out A Cold Love Story. If you've enjoyed your time here, then please remember to like this video and subscribe to keep up to date with all our new releases. But other than that, have a spooky day and I'll catch you next time, guys.